additional 100k you can do without it right now. I got my wedding dress for free. A new dress made just for me. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Blessing Smith. If you're watching my video for the first time, you're welcome to this channel. Straight to the point, today's video is about a very, very interesting gist about how I wanted to rent a wedding dress, the places I went to, the cost, and of course, I have videos to back every of these gist up because you know me now, I they always capture moments. Right from the very beginning, when I started to plan my wedding, I already zeroed my mind that, see, eh, I'm not making a wedding dress, so I'm going to rent a dress because first of all after that wedding where am i going to wear the wedding dress to it's going to be like a waste now that's like that's what i was thinking then also because the price to make a dress hey no be being so the price to actually make a wedding dress is not being so i felt like renting a dress would be cheaper and also because i won't be i might not be wearing it again actually a person they wear wedding dress go play me i will not wear it again now so what's the point I actually had two options in my head, either to rent a dress or search for a bride that wants to rent out a wedding dress. However, I was clueless. I didn't know where to go if I want to rent a dress. I didn't even know how to get a bride or search for a bride that maybe wants to rent out a dress. I didn't know how to go about any of these two options. Also, I was clueless in terms of what exactly do I want to wear. I just knew that I wanted something simple. If you ask me, oh, what do you want your wedding dress to look like? I just want something something simple. I don't like so much going on on my body. So I just knew that I wanted something simple. The details, oh, how it's going to look like, I don't know. How the sleeve will look like, oh, I don't know. How the fabric will look like, I don't know. I was clueless. I'm so thankful for my friend, Ayomide, that was on my case during this period she was always checking on my plans and progress i've made and all of that she was the one that brought this idea of going to a rental store into my head because even though i knew i wanted to rent a dress i did think that i would have to go and try dresses to just know what kind of style will fit my body even if you don't know exactly what you want that's fine but it's important for you to go and try out dresses in a rental store so that you can know the kind of style that fits your body type fits your personality self when you are able to detect that then you'll be able to tailor your search or tailor what you want to make into what you found out that fits your style that was what she told me and thank god <laughs> thank god i took that advice so i went on instagram searched for hmm that thing of searching for vendors on instagram is an extreme work on its own but today is not about that i went on instagram search for bridal rental store i found one brides and moites at Ikeja. so i messaged them to just make inquiries to ask for their exact location address and yes to also ask for price because Every dress you try on, you pay. For the one at Ikeja Brides and More, it was a thousand naira per dress. So if you try five dresses on, you're going to pay 5k. To try on a dress cost 1,000 naira. So I made my inquiries and then I decided to go and I went with my sisters and my friend and Yola. <laughs>
that third dress, eh? I didn't like it at all. That dress was a no no for me. It was choking my body and it was also choking me in the neck. It was a no no. If you notice there, yeah, I moved around a lot in the dresses because I just wanted to measure comfort. I mean, if I'm going to wear this dress, it has to be comfortable. I want to see if I can move around comfortably with it. I also took a lot of pictures and videos because there are things that you won't see on the spot but when you get home and you watch the videos or you check the pictures you will now see that hmm there's a fault here hmm i don't think i'll go for this dress or what not so taking pictures taking videos while you are trying on a dress at a rental store would help you to notice details that you might have missed on the spot also i danced a lot in these dresses in the dresses i tried i danced a lot because ah we are not wearing dress where i know go fit fit ah which kind of nonsense pigeon i can't wear wedding dress that won't be able to dance comfortably dance is very important to me if you know blessing you know you know you know I haven't made a decision, but I'll sleep over it and I'll make a decision. But the dresses I tried are not bad. <laughs> My sisters, Emila, Candy, <laughs> and we're going now. Off we go. Off we go. Off we go. Off we go. Indeed, I went off full course. I never went back to pick any of those dresses that I tried. God really came through for me. I got my wedding dress for free. A new dress made just for me at no cost. I got it for free. Cutsy Tommy Care and House of Dover. I'm going to post a picture of what I eventually wore for my wedding at the end of this video. In another video, I'll share the story of how God sent my helper to me. He gave her no rest till she picked her phone to call me. It's a whole movie. It's a whole story and I'm definitely going to share that story in another video looking back at these videos from the rental store it just made me realize the magnitude of what god did for me like god is so good and looking back at the videos just made me even understand even more in that video that period i was clueless even my sisters that followed me to pick the dress they were clueless we didn't know that god was planning something see how we were so focused on trying to get something that would fit me we were so like we were into it we didn't do it with the mind of something is coming somewhere it was never in my imagination that i would get a wedding dress for free it was never it never occurred to me we didn't know what god was bringing it's so beautiful it's so see this video is not about that story like i said i'll share it in another story anyways i tried one more rental store it's at yaba i think yes yaba it's called rent a dress tomike had suggested that we try just one more rental store so that we we'll know in our mind that we really tried but we didn't see anything we like so i went to this rent a dress store at yaba here's a video about that one I just got back from the rental store and I'm not 100% happy because I don't know it's just a lot the price 
to rent a dress it is outrageous coupled with the fact that you might not even see what you really really want if you are selective if you have a certain preference like for example my church redeem church your dress cannot just be any kind of way it has to be modest redeem aside self i'm a minimalist when it comes to fashion i just like to keep it simple i don't like so much going on on my body so if you have if you are picky let me just say if you are picky based on different factors if you are picky it will be difficult for you to see what is really really tailored to suit your preference that's one thing about renting then the price is not ridiculous like why am i hearing 250k to rent a dress why why dress i'll still return no not like it's my own forever 250k to rent a dress and that's why the first time i went to the rental store some weeks ago and i heard the price and i wasn't really even satisfied with the things i saw like i wasn't 100 percent satisfied i just lost the enthusiasm for anything renting of dress i lost the interest but tommy k tona tommy k ginger me again make i go to this make i go try this another place where i go today she was like let's just do this and so that in our church mind we'll know that okay we really really tried to search for a dress to rent that if i don't now see something i like in uh here -huh, she can now she will speak to a fashion designer to make something for me so now as it is final decision is like we're going to make a dress so renting is not renting renting is not <laughs> renting is not giving yeah so i don't know i just feel somehow i was going to say something yeah i paid 2k to try on that dress and so the price for renting of dress in that place is 250k but if i'm going to pay right now on this spot they can give me for 150k so that means the additional 100k you can do without it right you can do without it so why are you adding it just to extort people if you can do without a whole 100k that means in that 150 safe your gain is still there so why is it why why is renting of dress so so expensive i can't get it and i don't ah. anyways that's that about that <laughs> So guys, that's how my adventure of renting a dress went to. Looking back at the dresses I tried versus the dress I eventually wore, there is a tendency to want to laugh and say, Ew, so that's what I wanted to wear, see what I now wore. But who am I to laugh? Who am I to look at it somehow? I never imagined that I was going to get a, a dress made for me for free without paying anything. I never imagined. It was all God. It was all God. And there are people that... They could have worn the dresses I tried at the rental store. And that is fine. That is what they can afford. That is what they like, chef. So, I don't want to look at it from the angle of you. So, this is what I wanted to wear. Yes, I did eventually wear the dresses I wanted to rent. And that is all thanks to God. It has nothing to do with my ability or... It has nothing to do with me. It's just all God. And I pray that if you are a bride to be watching this or even if you are already in your planning process wedding planning process i pray that god will come true for you see eh, i know how it can be but god sees us god sees our needs and it takes in nothing to show up it takes in nothing to supply all of our needs and i pray that god will surprise you god will make you happy god will make your wedding go well and everything will just be fine in jesus name amen thank you for watching my video please share this video like and most importantly subscribe oh, so that you can keep seeing my fine face. Thank you guys. I love you so much. Bye.